Hi, this is Pete Taylor. The crowd on its feet. I've seen it all today. Cyclones are going to win their second Big 12 championship outright. November 24th, 2001, Ames, Iowa. It was a unique setting for the Iowa State versus Iowa series. The tragic events of 9-11 had pushed the game back to November. As usual, Seneca Wallace was outstanding, completing 20 of 27 passes. And Tony Yelk's field goal early in the fourth quarter had pushed Iowa State in front 17-14. And with Pete Taylor and Eric Heft on the call, senior Adam Runk would make sure it stayed that way, ending Iowa's final drive of the game. Two left, one right. McCann straight back to throw. No pressure. He throws. Picked off by Runk. 45. Runk with the interception at the 43-yard line. Iowa State's got the football. Kevin Durandi buried Kyle McCann on that one, I believe. He threw it high. Pressure makes passers throw interceptions. Dan McCarty gets the Gatorade splash. The clock runs down, it's to 10 seconds. This one's over. Iowa State has won 17 to 14 and maybe the biggest game since the series was resumed in 1977. What a game. Both sides need to be commended. They played like hell throughout the game and Iowa State wound up winning by three points. A big, big win for Iowa State. Beat seven and four, had four straight over Iowa. It is a Cyclone State. The Cyhawk Trophy stays in Ames a fourth straight year. Well, Eric, the Iowa State-Iowa game had been pushed back that year because of the events of 9-11, and it was uh, unusual to see the two teams play at the end of the season, and the game came right down to the end. What a great game. Uh, it, it was a great game, and I, I, I look back and I think of uh, Early in the year, you thought, well, would it be better for Iowa State to play Iowa uh, later in the season this year? Would we be better off playing early in the year? Yeah, a lot of question marks about both teams, and uh, certainly Seneca, that was his first year at Iowa State. We didn't know what to expect in a big game like this, but when the tragic events of 9-11 occurred and it was moved to the end of the season, like both teams were able to kind of point toward that. Uh, and, and for Iowa State to have it at home, uh, a big crowd, uh, a lot of big plays in that game, but you know I remember uh, one play in particular where Seneca makes a bad decision, throws an interception, uh, but Craig Campbell, wide receiver, comes back, st uh, strips the linebacker, Iowa State gets the ball back, and, and almost is able to run the clock out, but still very, very uh, engaging game, very close game, and, and a great win for Iowa State because that was the fourth win in a row after Iowa State had lost 15 in a row. They're kind of sensing, okay, uh, not only are we back even keel, you know, but maybe we've got the upper hand. And it sent Iowa State to a, another bowl game, and uh, just that feeling of Runk making that play at the end to kind of clinch it had to be a, a special moment for you too. No question, you know, and he made a couple plays like that. He made one at Missouri as, as well. Uh, a heady player, a guy who was a baseball player, really good baseball player in high school, uh, but a good athlete, a guy just knew how to make plays, and, and that one kind of saved the day once again for Iowa State. Let's hear Pete Taylor's call of it one more time. Two left, one right. McCann straight back to throw. No pressure, he throws. Picked off by Runk. 45, Runk with the interception at the 43-yard line. Iowa State's got the football. Kevin Durandi buried Kyle McCann on that one, I believe. He threw it high. Pressure makes passers throw interceptions. Dan McCarty gets the Gatorade splash. The clock runs down. It's to 10 seconds. This one's over. Iowa State has won 17 to 14 and maybe the biggest game since the series was resumed in 1977. What a game. Both sides need to be commended. They played like hell throughout the game and Iowa State wound up winning by three points. A big, big win for Iowa State. Beat seven and four. Had four straight over Iowa. It is a Cyclone State. The Cyhawk Trophy stays in Ames a fourth straight year.